Hello everyone, today is July 21st, 2017. Just making a brief video on seed saving. And for those of you out there that are trying to maybe grow some of your own food, um, just some tips on how to save seeds and have, um, you know, some backup seeds in case um, you can't get any seeds, you can't purchase any seeds. And let me just say this, I do realize that our environment is toxic and that nothing that we're eating is pure and, and you know super healthy anymore but you know we have to do the best we can with what we have and if we do have a economic collapse and the grocery stores can't bring in produce um, it would be wise to be able to know how to grow something even if it's just in a pot um, because it is a little bit more empowering if you have something to eat versus if you are standing in a line begging for bread or or vegetables or whatever so um, I'm not a great gardener. I've just been learning as I go, and um, I'm just going to share this quick video with you. So um, I bought some seeds, as you can see, right here. There's many different varieties. I try to get the organic seeds if I can, and I know that you know maybe they're not organic, but doing the best I can. And I also try to get the non-GMO seeds that um, are not. Um, genetically modified. So look on the packet and make sure that you're getting um, those kinds. They also will grow. Like if you get seeds that are GMO seeds, they will only produce one time. But if you get the non-GMO, you can save your seeds, dry them, put them away, and hopefully have some backup seeds for the future. So I've got a couple of different versions of cucumbers. Um, I've let this cucumber get um, brownish yellow because then the seeds are you know, fully grown and what I did here is I cut one of them in half and then I just um, I've gotten most of the seeds out of this one but what I do is I take a knife and I just press the sides like this and you can see and it just pushes the seeds out without tearing the seeds up so maybe one's gonna come up here if I push down on it kinda hard and then yep yeah, there's one right there all right, so the seeds push out and they're still intact and they're not um, cut in half. So I don't see if my focus is... All right, so here's one that's cut in half. It's probably not gonna work, but I try to get the push the ones out that are full and whole, like that. All right, and then I put them in a colander. All right, and there's some mushy stuff in there, some slushy stuff in there, which I then take and I just gently wash them under the sink and I try to just gently work out all of that uh, slushy, slimy stuff All right, and then I will separate them and pick them out and um, try to get the whole seeds I can and then from this point I come over here which is this is one I did um, yesterday and I dry them on a paper plate um, and they do stick to the paper plate, so you have to take something and kind of separate them out as they're drying. But once they fully dry, that's the key, they have to fully dry, then you can place them in a plastic bag and put your date on them and put them away in a dry, um, you know, dark place. But they have to be fully dry. If they're not fully dry, they won't, they won't work. So I let these dry out probably a week get them really dried out and I put them in the bag I date them they're white cukes um, white cukes are actually a lot smaller than the um, what I call the market moors now this one is brown but it is normally this light color and they're very very tasty and they're not bitter and you can just eat them right off the vine it's, um, you can eat several at once they're not very filling and they're they're really good so let me just also end with this um, we, we can't save ourselves and there's a lot we can do to protect ourselves and hedge and you know save some food and save some money and try to um, you know prepare for things that are coming but we can't ultimately save ourselves and so every day I just try to remember the serenity prayer which is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference and every day I just surrender to my higher power and 
um, ask him to guide my, my day and, and help me in my decisions. It doesn't mean that I'm giving up. It just means that I'm surrendering my will to his will in hopes that um, he will show me how to live the best life that I can live and the best life that I'm supposed to live. So this is a little um, video on seed saving and um, you know all you need is one good cuke. Um, you can see that it produces a lot of seeds and um, if you cut your cuke in half then you can squeeze uh, press your seeds out without destroying them and you can save them. So I hope this has been a helpful video. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks.